The interesting thing is, in your brain, it's not neutral like a computer. So actually, what we do have is something that's called the negativity bias. So negativity bias. And what this means is that in your brain, negative information is processed more intensively than positive information. So your brain is biased and your brain aspires towards anything negative. And that's why creating a positive company culture is so important because people quickly go into that toxic cycle of just being, you know, of worry, anxiety, stress. All of these things actually shrink our brain. Yes, cortisol, like high levels of cortisol over a chronic period of time will shrink your brain and it will just make you more and more negative. And actually the amygdala, where negative emotions are processed, will grow in your brain and become bigger. And then you become even more attuned to negative information. So I wanted you to understand that basic correlation between your rational thinking and your emotional thinking in your brain, they're connected. So it's not that you can just be super rational at work and ignore your feelings. If you know how to move with your feelings and how to work your emotions, it's going to enhance your cognitive performance. And paying attention to a bad mood or how you make people feel actually will impact how people work around you, simply from a brain physiology perspective.